At the 2022 Keeley Awards, we saw the reveal of Armor Core 6, Fires of Rubicon, the next number entry in the long-running Armor Core series, where you play as a silent protagonist mercenary who operates giant mechs known as Armor Core in a post-apocalyptic world working for governmental and private institutions. To say I'm excited would be an understatement, but before I get into the question of the video, I would like to establish three things before moving onwards. I am not a hardcore Armor Core fan. My only familiarity with the series was playing Armor Core 5 at my uncle's place, and even then I was too young to make sense of what I was doing. What I am though is a hardcore fan of mech games. Games like Mech Assault, Hawken, Daemon X Machina, and Titanfall 2. Although varying in genres, they still share visual and thematic elements I've always enjoyed, from the heavily industrial and grungy aesthetics to the intricately designed mechs themselves. It is always a marvel to stare at, especially when they feature different body types, indicating different visual languages for intricacy and functionality. So overall, seeing what is considered the grandfather of the mech games making a comeback, it excites me a ton to get into the series, and more on that later. Second, the reason I fell in love with From Software games was mainly because of the Soul series. Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring are all special in their own way for me, and seeing From Software refine and perfect the formula ever since the first Demon Souls or Kingsfield if we're going that far, it is awe-inspiring as a game designer to see a developer committed in doing their own thing and avoid chasing trends, especially when they don't fit the project's needs. Having said that, I'm also a big advocate for game developers to get outside their comfort zones and experiment in different genres of what they're used to, like 2000s era Rockstar games, where we would get stealth, racing, action, beat-em-up, sports, a literal music mixer app for the PSP, and many more genres which made them a versatile studio at the time, or at least the minimum of doing something different if said developer has been developing the same genre for a long period of time, like from software since Demon Souls until now. And by the way, I know that Hasine exists, but that's a VR game, so I'm not denying its existence for the sake of my argument. Ultimately, the exciting thing about this Armor Core announcement is the fact that current From Software, with a decade worth of new expertise and the new current technology we have available at our grasps, it could result in the most in-depth and intricately structured game the series has seen so far, proof of it being how sequels generally evolve, especially in long-running franchises for better or worse. Third and final, I always get excited when long dormant franchises make a comeback and their fan bases are very happy with its return. It's very endearing for me to see and go through reactions on social media and watching reaction videos of people celebrating the return of their favorite series. And in turn, it gets me excited as well, even when I know jack of what the franchise is about. If you want a more specific reason to why I do this, I'm a hardcore Ridge Racer fan and I've been there since the PSP entries. I've also played most of the games in the series, so when I tell you how much it sucks not having a new Ridge Racer since the middling PS Vita entry or Ridge Racer Unbounded if we're being really picky, I'm just really scratching the surface of how hard it is to have faith in a new entry potentially coming, even when rumors and events leaks don't even mention the series at all. It really is a struggle to be a Ridge Racer fan and be excited about the series' future, to be honest. So whenever I see my brothers and sisters of long dormant franchises getting a new entry years later, I can't help but be happy for them and eventually get into said series myself. So going back to the initial question, will Armor Core 6 be a Souls-like game given from soft output in the last decade? No, and it has already been confirmed by FromSoft themselves that the game will stick to the original Armor Core formula, but honestly, for me, I think it's more of a question of if they'll bring elements from that genre in the series, because bringing the entire genre structure would simply mean a Souls game with mechs, and it would be counter to what the series game design is rooted towards, a mission-based action series with an emphasis on customization for the best outcome in the battlefield. I personally would prefer if the whole Souls formula wasn't transitioned to the new Armor Core games, as it would feel familiar 
as well as a crutch for FromSoft to hang on to, but realistically, I have two hypotheses on how the final product may end up being like. Hypothesis A, the series will only bring some elements of the Souls formula, but not everything. Only the elements from soft fields will benefit the game in the long run. And hypothesis B, they'll entirely ignore the Souls formula and instead work with what the series has already established and evolve the formula with new elements to make it feel fresh and exciting. So first things first, hypothesis A. Since I have a very broad but not an intricate idea of Armor Core's game design 100%, I'll be using my knowledge of traditional mech games as a basis, the little memory I have of Armor Core 5, and a few of YouTube videos I've seen just so I could have my arguments as accurate to what already exists as possible. As already confirmed in an IGN interview with Miyazaki and game director Masaru Yamamura, Sekiro's lead game designer by the way, the game will be a pure traditional Armor Core in the traditional sense, true to its roots and everything. So, if we already have that answer, why do I still hypothesize two different outcomes? Well, current From Software is very different from past From Software. Using Armor Core 4 as a middle point for reference, as the game came out in 2006, we get a clear picture of how the studio has evolved. Before Armor Core 4, From Soft was developing multiple games in multiple genres dungeon crawlers, survival horror, RPGs, action games turn-based games, you name it, they had their paws in varying genres, which resulted in years of experience, and said experience was instrumental to the success of Demon's Souls, a game of many experimental ideas that paved the way for FromSoft's next lineup of titles in the next decade to follow that made use of that formula. So, with that in perspective, we currently have a FromSoft that is well experienced in a single formula but a formula that aggregates many different game design ideas and structures. So, how will this translate to Armor Core 6? Well, we won't see fully solid elements of Souls games such as the difficult but not impossible design philosophy, or specific mechanics like the posture bar from Sekiro, or Rally from Bloodborne. Many of their broader lessons learned from tweaking with the Souls formula can still be applied in Armor Core 6. For example, boss fights. Boss fights are such a big staple of FromSoft's design philosophy that they manage to perfect them with the Souls games. For AC6, this could mean distinct and intricate boss battles thematically and mechanically dense, and this has been mentioned by Yamamura-san, where he says, and I quote, In this title, both the enemy and your own machine are aggressive and violent in their attacks. We are developing the game so that players can enjoy the dynamic and intense boss battles that only mechas can offer." End quote. This could also suggest the inclusion of bosses with some sort of gimmick, like General Rodan's Festival in Elden Ring, or Mikolash in Bloodborne, as annoying as he is, but that's just a speculation on my part. Another one is level design. Even though the AC games are very mission-based games, that doesn't mean the intricate level design of Souls games can be brought back. Of course, Soul games levels are primarily designed for the purpose of interconnectivity and hidden secrets that may aid or doom the player. But with AC games, the level design is more towards objective-based, kinda like Ace Combat, where you're just given the objective, where to go and complete the task. What I feel may change for AC6 level design is a mix of both, retaining the structure of a typical armor core level while also implementing extra pathways or secret locations only accessible by fulfilling certain criteria, kinda like metroidvania games. That I feel will help make the levels more grand, in-depth and forever functional to the goals set by the developers. The small hint of this being a reality was mentioned in the same IGN interview, where Miyazaki comments that this time around there's an aspect of exploration in AC6, but he never specified if it's worth customization or the levels themselves, so take my prediction with a grain of salt. For combat, the Soul series has seen many iterations of different combat design formulas to suit the project needs. For Bloodborne, it was its focus on aggressive and ferocious plays. For Sekiro, it was the mastery of that entire system, and Elden Ring is the one-size-fits-all approach where everything you do and the tools you take advantage of aid you in combat no matter how insignificant or strong it may be. 
Armor Core, on the other hand, has projectiles from guns, missiles, cannons, and many more, as it is obviously the main tools of destruction used by the mechs. This time around, however, I honestly believe that this aspect won't go through a major overhaul, but instead retain the same structure as previous AC games. The one thing I feel will impact the dynamics of combat in the battlefield is a larger focus on aggressiveness and push forward elements, similar but not like Doom Eternal ways of doing it. This is just pure speculation from my part based on the intensity and grungy atmosphere of the reveal trailer, where you see most of the action shots in the trailer being these heavy ass machineries breaking through straight concrete walls and monuments and surprising their opponent. The best point of reference for this idea would be Sekiro, a game with the combat system heavily inclining you on applying pressure to your opponents, even when they may seem too overpowered for you. The storytelling this time around I believe will be similar, just like any past titles. Souls games are mostly known for environmental and emergent storytelling, and those two are big pillars for those game storytelling styles. I don't think AC6 will be the same. We'll have very traditional cutscenes linking a very traditionally told story, inside and outside missions, as well as the briefings where you'll have some lore spiced up here and there on top of your mission objectives. Not much to talk about here really, but I would be lying to myself if I didn't say I'd be surprised if they threw us a curveball and implemented an extra element of storytelling that they feel would benefit the game. With all of this laid out, this is my main prediction of how current FromSoft can have an influence on Armor Core 6 game's design. Not necessarily the Souls formula itself, but the lessons learned from it. But let's suppose they don't actually bring anything forward. What if Armor Core 6 is just like the previous entries, structurally, and they add and refine newer elements to what already exists? Well, that's where Hypothesis B comes in, and here's what I think of it. In the case the series remains as is, then there's really not much to discuss, as we already have definitive answers based on past entries, but boy oh boy, thanks to the IGN interview about Armor Core 6 and its initial information we have so far, we have confirmation from both Hidetaka Miyazaki and Masaru Yamamura that at least two elements are receiving a strong focus, customization, a series staple, and combat. We already discussed combat, but to briefly summarize the article, Masaru Yamamura talks about a greater emphasis on more offensive and dynamic battles. These may see the introduction of new mechanics, but as we know so far, that is the only concrete detail of the combat design they're eyeing towards. Also, there are some melee elements, probably broader in scope than previous entries, which is neat. The second, and not so much surprising, is customization. Miyazaki in particular comments how significant it is to get the fundamentals and expand beyond them. In his own words, and I quote, We wanted to put the focus on the breadth of variety and in assembly and customizing your own mech and really feeling as if you're piloting that mech that you've carefully put time into, and end quote. This sentence alone I feel is enough to get an idea of a customization system, not just visually but mechanically expands on what came before in big and small ways. That will somewhat affect your combat performance and efficiency. Once again, I would like to strongly emphasize that most of this info is based on my knowledge of mech games, the few videos I've seen from Armor Core, and the little I remember from playing Armor Core 5. So, if my takes here end up being entirely wrong in the future, I'll gladly take the L and move on. With that said, I want to confirm that in the following months I will be playing and analyzing every Armor Core game I possibly can here on the channel, and I'm honestly very excited about that. I'll most likely play the games through release order and maybe take a look at the expansions that came after a main entry. I know the series varies a lot in difficulty, and even still I'm determined to play through them, and even if I don't manage to finish one, of the more difficult entries like The Last Raven which I heard is just about the best way to make you quit gaming, I still want to invest enough time so I can have enough material to at least discuss the game design and its structure. Other than that, this is my current prediction of the way Armor Core 6 can evolve and I hope you really enjoyed it. Speaking of enjoying, while we're at it, leave a like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video and have yourselves a damn good one.